Did you know that you're 20% more likely to have a heart attack on a Monday than any other day of the week? Having said that, if this is your last Montage Monday, let's make this a good one. It's go time. We got an excellent hour. Hey, look at that. People are pumped up, isn't it? Uh, Let's talk about a little bit of injustice. Uh, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I think that might have been the sexiest injustice uh, ever. Okay. Like, let's talk about injustice. She's got issues. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't be hosting shows. I, I, I totally. I feel bad making fun of agree. her. We don't know. We don't know what the reason was. Uh, she could have passed out from something else. Uh, oh, you're just gonna keep going? Yeah. You're not gonna look for help or anything. The suspect escaped from cops. How in the world did this guy get away from the cops? My God, those are the worst donut eating cops in the world. Okay, how the hell did that guy get away? Well, let's see what happens in the next debate, but I love Julia. Gallard, and I wish our politicians would learn some, uh, a thing or two from her. Yeah. You know what? Check that, mate. <laughs> I didn't have to go there. I didn't have to, you got it already. I didn't have to say it. Hashtag vote Romney. And then uh, she tweeted this picture of herself. Not that one. The one we're about to show you, because I don't think that's Kim Dash. Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's take a quick break. Yeah, you, Irene, it was a good? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. wrong again, Bob. Okay. All right, we're done with this story. End of this. Uh, okay, and besides, if I give you a cockroach now, no way you eat it. I mean, it depends on how it was prepared. Like oh, if, it, if, if one of your food lovers, the, the Travel Channel folks right, or whatever, came right. by and said, oh, this is a delicacy in Indonesia. Here, Anna. <gasps> then you would eat it immediately. Of course. Right? But if yeah. I gave you, you want sick to learn, here's a roach. No, you, you have it. to prepare it properly. Oh, oh you, you have to prepare just because, it. Just because it's an insect doesn't mean that you have to eat it in its like raw form. La right? La why not deep thing. fry it? Yeah, yeah, why not deep fry it? Maybe sure. sprinkle some cinnamon and sugar on top sure, of that sure, bad, sure. bad boy. Okay, you know what? I guess if Snoop intended to put it out as if it was his own, he'd be Snoop Lion. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Make it stop. She just seems very down to earth. And I think that that girl next door charm coupled with that, I mean, like that's super hot. I mean, <laughs> okay, what's really funny is like when you do it, it's kind of funny, but all right, now watch me do it. <laughs> but it's an interesting moral conundrum. So when we have an interesting moral conundrum on the Young Turks, what do we do? We ask, what would Jesus do? That's Isn't a pretty it? badass graphic. Says that didn't work. She's like, what else do I have to do? I already showed you my badge. Well, you know what? It worked. She's getting the attention she wants. We're talking about her, so. Yeah, well, I suppose so. Or she could show us her badge again. Oh, yes. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. I, 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 I denounce I, and reject myself. I do not want to see her badge. Okay. <laughs> I hear. Well, a little balance. Show him more boobs. More boobs. <laughs> But at the same time, you're killing that guy. At the end of the day, I'm too chicken shit to take someone else's life. Wow, that's interesting. I, I don't that's think that I could do it. But ironically, that's a brave admission. Now, which way would I go? What? Oh, of course! <laughs> so, wait, wait, where was the button? Whoa, sick, what happened? Oh yeah, there he goes, isn't it? Okay, so Mark Register, for the first time ever, appearing on TYT Supreme Court as the deciding vote uh, new uh, director for a little while here. He runs all the tech here, but directing uh, the show's now. Yes, Mark. Deciding vote. End of this. Okay, uh, Mark, not very vocal. Turns out Clueless is now 20 years old, which mm. again, I'm Grandpa Jenk. I can't believe that Clueless is 20 years old. What's Clueless? I'm just, I'm kidding. Get it? Da -da -da. Ba -da. And then, da -da -da. Uh, similar things are happening in Long Island, New York, and this is in an effort to fight childhood obesity. Uh, oh, come on. I know, I know. It's Get ridiculous. Get the fuck out of my life. It's ridiculous. Sele selected Bayshore students designated overweight or obese are being equipped with a wristwatch-like device that counts heartbeats, detects motion, and even tracks students' sleeping habits. Similar programs are underway in schools in St. Louis, Missouri, and South Orange, New Jersey. I hate this. 
I mean, look, think about your uh, childhood. I don't know about you, but uh, you know, I was telling the story the other day about how I ate way too much mayonnaise when I was in high school, right? <laughs> so like, I'd get extra mayonnaise on my tuna fish sandwich, which already has mayonnaise. Uh -huh. I'd put more in my macaroni salad, which already had ma mayonnaise. The watch my, do, 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 do. we have a mayonnaise alert, we have a mayonnaise alert, this fat ass had more mayonnaise. Uh, do, 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 do. He just had chocolate milk, chocolate milk. Do, do, do. And then I'd go to Mrs. Bennett Trick's class mm -hmm. and I'd fall asleep in the front row. Okay, do, 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 do. I'm monitoring sleep, he's falling asleep in trigonometry. Yeah, I'm falling asleep, it was because it was boring. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Now look, and Mrs. Bennett knew how to regulate anyway. She snapped a ruler on my desk. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> right? So, and it's frustrating, it's frustrating because there are people out there, myself included, that are naive and they think that people are just good. But no, people are not good. People are bad. Very, very bad. <laughs> that is the conclusion we have reached on this show. People are not good. They are very, very bad. You're a very, very bad man. This is what happens next. Next thing I knew, oh, I damn. felt a uh, blow to my mouth and I hit the floor. Uh, now, Dan Hall, who is a public offender, uh, defender, said. <laughs> no, his, his client was a public offender. <laughs> He was on the offense. Poor public defender was definitely on the defense. <laughs> oh, that was a weird Freudian he has, slip. He has two bad defenses. <laughs> First for the case and second for his face. <laughs> and and uh, unfortunately, that defense... All we hear is about that defense. They can't stop a nosebleed. <laughs> in fact, in that case, it started one. Oh, really? He had this uh, correspondent named Woofy. Do you still listen to him? No, I don't have Sirius. Okay, I, so... You know what's ironic? I've never had Sirius. <laughs> Isn't that weird? You know, because Sirius gave us a set once, and Dave Kohler immediately swiped it. And then they gave us a set. It is! And then they gave us a second set, and Ben took it. It's my version of the banana argument that religious people make. Like, how did the banana get its shape that it perfectly fits into our hand? Obviously, God made it that way. I heard Brian Unger is doing a show about that. Oh. How the fruits got their shape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. That's amazing. I love this show. But that dude has rationality issues. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about of that. Of course! Guy. I'm worried about putting that guy back out in the street. Mm -hmm. That's my point. Thank you guys so much for watching it. You guys know I have an absolute blast doing these. Hope you guys had fun. And uh, these should become more frequent as my schedule clears up and my bronchitis goes away. Uh, hit like, helps more people see the video. Have a nice day. I want to make a complete, kind of unrelated point. Why are they called cockroaches? <laughs> okay, all right, now here's what's funnier. My wife, my wife won't live on a street named Cockburn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, it's a normal street, it's here in LA, it's not, I'm like, it's, it's an old, uh, you know, English, Scottish, whatever the fuck, you know, Cockburn. And she's like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> it's a cultural thing. Oh, okay, I don't right. know why they're called that. Yeah. I've seen that street, Cockburn, yeah. yeah. Cock but cockroaches, like, that's a strange name. Like, How do you know that street's not pronounced Coburn, like the writer from the nation who died recently? I would be really surprised if it wasn't pronounced Coburn. I bet it is pronounced Coburn, but she sees it and goes Cockburn. I'm not in. I'm not living on that street.